Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do a really fresh, glowy summer makeup look. Although it is gonna be fresh and glowy, it is not gonna be oily. So as you go throughout your day, it's not gonna to get too oily, too gross, too like slicked back. So I hope you guys are having a great day today. If you're new here, hi, my name is Vivian. I'm a robotics engineer with a love for all things beauty and makeup related. And I'd love it if you like to subscribe if you aren't already. Let's just hop into it. It is finally feeling like summer. Well, technically it kind of has, but I've been up north, so I haven't been feeling summer. And now, here I am, back home, feeling summer. I am very excited. This is gonna be like a super lightweight, very summery type of makeup look. Fresh, glowy, all the things. So the first thing I'm gonna go in with is actually sunscreen. This is from Ultraviolet. This is their Fave Fluid Ultralight Sunscreen SPF 50 Plus. I actually picked this up when I was in Australia. So I don't think you can get it in the US, or at least I am not aware of you being able to get it in the US, but it's super liquidy. So I just do like a, a good amount and I am just gonna rub this all over my face. It is super lightweight. It starts off looking like it's gonna leave a white cast, but as it blends out, that goes away. Because I want this to be a very glowy, very fresh, maybe a little bit more bronzed of a look. I'm actually gonna go in with my Say Glowy Super Gel. This is in the shade Sun Glow, which is the darker, bronzier shade. I am just gonna take a couple pumps of that. Maybe that was a bit much, but blend this out over my face as well. I don't think this adds a ton of glow or a ton of bronze, but it adds just enough to feel a little bit more put together. For my base, I used this yesterday and I really, really liked the way it sat and looked all day. And then I went to the gym and sweat for like an hour. And at the end of the day, my makeup still <laughs> looked so good. So I think that means we should use this today. This is expensive. This is the Chanel Le Beige. I have mine in the shade B30. This is not something I would typically reach for, not because it's a bad product, but just because it's so expensive. But I thoroughly enjoyed the way this worked this looked yesterday and so I feel like this would make for a perfect summer product where you're going to be sweating, you're going to be out and about and it just looked really good the entire day. So I want to do it, I want to use it again. I'm going to take a pump and a half on my palm. Just use my finger to break up all of the little pigment capsules so it looks like that and then pick it up on my brush and use my brush to blend it out. It is not a super high coverage product but I like that about this. I feel like when I think of summer makeup, I want something that's super lightweight, but also still like evens out my skin tone and is gonna last throughout the day. The shade B30 is a little bit more on the neutral side for me. So this isn't like my perfect shade match, but it does a good enough job and it's lightweight enough that I feel like it still looks really nice on my skin and you could get away with a shade that doesn't match you perfectly. And if the Chanel Le Beige is a bit too expensive because it is quite pricey, I still love my Summer Fridays sheer skin tint for summer days like this. I feel like that would also work really, really well for this type of look. For concealer, I have a couple of different options here. My one tried and true is my Tower 28 concealer. This is in the shade MDR. But lately, I picked this up. This is the Refi concealer. This is in the shade 10. I realized that when I did my like testing new makeup, I didn't read this label that says shake before use. Um, so when I first applied it, it was like a little bit weird and separated, but now I understand why. Shake before use. So I'm gonna go in with this. I feel like this is also just a really good lightweight product. It's not gonna cover a ton, but it feels super lightweight and like gel-like. And I feel like Again, for summer vibes, that's really what I am trying to go for. I have a bunch of like dark marks, like old acne marks. So I'm just gonna use this to slightly cover those up as well. I'm just gonna take the same brush and try and pat this out a little bit. I'm not too concerned about my skin. Um, usually in the summer, my skin gets better anyway as I tan and as I just get out more. That is the base. I feel like I looked really 
just evened out. I do, like I said, the foundation isn't like the perfect shade match for me, but it's close enough that I'm not too concerned about it. The next thing I'm going to go in with is my Tower 28 Bronzino in the shade West Coast. You guys know I love to pull this out in the summer. I feel like it always just looks so beautiful in the summer. I am gonna take this brush. This is from e.l.f. This is the Putty Blush Brush, but I'm gonna use this for bronzer. Just run my brush in there. You can see the pan I have in here is massive. I actually think a denser brush would be better for this. So we're actually gonna go in with the e.l.f. Putty Primer Brush. Putty Primer applicator. Gonna pick this up. Yeah, that's way better. And then just tap this out in all of the typical bronzer points. If you do not like a glowy bronzer, you're probably not gonna like this, but in the summer, I feel like that's exactly what I want. I feel like that's perfect. Just gonna take the foundation brush I went in with and just clean up the edges a little bit. The next thing I'm gonna go in with is my Freck Noir. It's summer, you have to have faux freckles. You don't have to, but I love having faux freckles in the summer, so I am gonna do this. First, before putting on blush, I'm gonna put a couple dots on my actual freckles, and then just use my finger to tap this out a little bit. And then, just kinda go haphazard with it. Um, it's gonna get a little bit covered by the blush, but I feel like that makes it look a little bit more natural when the blush is on top of it. Mine is getting kind of old. I think I need to repurchase this soon. But for me, I just do a couple dots at a time and I feel like that works really, really well and makes it look the most kind of seamless. Just a ton of really cute freckles. I. I love faux freckles in the summer. The next thing I'm gonna go in with is a lip and cheek stain. This one is from Milk Makeup. This is the Cooling Water Jelly Tint. I have mine in the shade Chill. And I think this is such a fun little product. I am gonna use this on my lips as well. So just tint them a little bit more pink, a little bit more red. And then for my cheeks, I'm gonna take this on a brush. This is just a Spectrum in Katie Jane Hughes like angled stipple brush and then start building this up. Make sure to go over your nose a little bit. I'm just gonna put a tiny bit on my forehead, like right there. Typically I am way more blush than this, but because I want this look to be really lightweight, really glowy, this is where we're stopping. The next thing I'm gonna go in with is powder. I am gonna use my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Setting Powder, mainly because this is actually such a good lightweight powder and I don't use it like a ton, a ton. So take this under my eyes on a brush in my T-zone, my larger pores here, and then on my chin as well, and my makeup mustache. And then to really make sure the rest of my face is set, I'm also gonna go in with a powder puff I'm using the same powder just on a puff to really press it into my skin. Just because this is in my project pan and I'm really trying to use up this powder, I'm gonna take a little bit of my Nabla Skin Bronzing in the shade Soft Revenge. You can totally skip this step. I think this look would be nice without this, but I really just wanna try and use it up. So big fluffy brush and just do a little bit more of a sculpt. For eyeshadow, I think really the only thing that I would wanna go in with is my Urban Decay Moon Dust Eyeshadow in the shade Cosmic. It's this really pretty white, like it's just sparkle shade. It really makes your eyelids look wet. And I'm pretty haphazard with it. I kinda just throw it everywhere. For brows, I'm gonna try and not do a ton. I'm just gonna take my Glossier Boy Brow run this the opposite way in my brows and then run them the normal way and just brush them into place where I want them. To really make things stay, I am gonna go in with my setting spray. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. Just give myself a good little spritz. 
waiting for that to dry down but i am going to top the lip stain with this merit shade slick tinted lip oil this is in the shade marrakesh i think this will just give my lips a little bit more warmth and this is also a super lightweight formula you really can't feel it on your lips at all. I just curled my eyelashes. I'm gonna go in with my mascaras. The first thing I'm gonna go in with is the Heroin Make Curl Keep, and then I'm gonna go in with the Tower 28 Make Waves Mascara in the shade Drift, which is their brown shade. And this is the final look. Super lightweight, super glowy, but still not gonna move anywhere throughout the day. So I truly love this makeup. I'm really happy that I have all of these products and I feel like this screams summer. Obviously you don't have to use the same products that I did, but if you want to use faux freckles and want to make it look really natural, I feel like my biggest tip would be to put it on before blush. Cause I feel like you can see them, but they're not super obvious, and I'm obviously wearing makeup, so I feel like if you put it on before your blush, it just looks more like part of your actual skin than like on top of makeup, you know? So I love this look. I'm so excited for summer. I feel like this is super glowy and fresh. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.